Okay, good morning. It is day two in Tuscany today. Um, I wish I had my hat on. It's a little cold here, like back in New York. Um, but with a backdrop like this, uh, I don't have this in Scarsdale. We're getting ready now to start tasting the 2006 Reservas. Uh, we thought yesterday we would get through 2007 Brunello and Reserva. It was a little over ambitious on uh, mine and Brian's part. Um, quick recap of yesterday, 2007 Reserva, um, very exciting vintage. Um, the wines are very, as I put in the, uh, the blog, they're very glycerol. It's a very ripe, user-friendly vintage. It reminds me a lot of the 1997 vintage when it first came out. And uh, next week we'll have more formal tasting notes posted. And Brian and I, the man behind the camera, will uh, post some of our favorites. So now we're going to go inside and we're going to taste 44 2006 Brunello de Montalcino Reservas. 2006, as everyone knows, was a sensational vintage last year. I anticipate these wines to be are going to be really big, very structured. Um, I love the minerality of the 2006 vintage, so I, I would you know assume that's going to be like the predominant theme throughout. Um, but we'll uh, get you some tasting notes. And we'll show you some shots while we're tasting. Uh, like I said, uh, it, you know I think that it's uh, time that Zaki's opens a little branch over here in uh, in Tuscany because this is a pretty sensational way to start the day. So. Uh, you know, look forward to some more tasting notes on the 06 Reservas, and it should be a fun day. We're off to it. See ya. Priceless. Priceless opportunity to taste 44 Reservas by... 12 o'clock. Perfect. How many people do that in the morning? <laughs> Done. Yeah. Okay, we're taking a little detour in the 06 Reserva tasting to sh with Brian here to show that there's no wrong answer or wrong description when it comes to a wine. Uh, Brian, please tell me and tell the crowd what you thought when you smelled this 06 Reserva. Oscar Meyer Bologna. <laughs> That's right, people. He's describing 06 Reserva as tasting like a hot dog. So when you're tasting your wine, you can tell that there's no right answer or wrong answer. Go with what you know. <laughs> and the tasting plods on. Brian had his uh, Oscar Mayer wieners uh, tasting, you know, hot dogs early in the morning in his 06 reservas. This one when I taste it. Eastern. Cadbury cream egg. Rich, creamy. It's, uh, if you like eating chocolate, that's what this 06 reserve is about. Don't know what it is, but we'll find out. Okay, here we are. I'm sitting on this nice little beautiful wall in Tuscany with the uh, scenic backdrop. We've just finished the tasting of the 2006 Reservas and uh, before I started the tasting I thought they were going to be good. They were really, really, really good. Um, 06 is a vintage. Everyone knows a lot of people have had a chance to try the wines and the 06 Reservas, um, besides having this like, all of them having this great level of concentration, the, the tannic structure to them was sensational all real big, strong, structured wines, but you could feel the, the, the power of fruit behind all of them, um, so it, it carries them through. So when you buy an 06 Reserva, the temptation to drink it is going to be very high, and you don't want to have to wait five or six years to drink a wine. If you had these, yes, they're going to be on the young side, but wow, were they good today. Tasted 44 06 Reservas. Uh, I don't know if you agree with me, Brian. I would say of the 44 we tasted, I thought 30 were of just supreme quality. So it's going to be uh, a lot of fun buying these wines and a lot of fun uh, selling them and hopefully you'll have as much fun drinking them. And uh, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna have fun hanging out in Tuscany a little bit more. So uh, stay tuned for more on the uh, 06 Reservas and 07 Brunellos as we bounce around Tuscany. See ya!